hello hello everyone how are you doing hope all is well hope you had a restful weekend the weekend was a very turbulent one so many unfortunate stories but i hope that all is well with you and as usual i always say i hope you are taking care of your mental health and remember there are only two days in the year that nothing can be done one is called yesterday and the other is called tomorrow so today is the right day to love yourself believe in yourself and do what makes you happy and just live there's so much people that is alive and not living we have to learn how to just live so i'm giving you an update to the gruesome assassination of the family of three in waterloo spanish town saint catherine and their unborn child and as far as we know the motive has emerged about a possible motive behind the triple murder in the community of Waterloo in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, where dead are 34-year-old save representative Omar Wellington and his wife, 35-year-old cashier Sharon Francis Wellington, who was five months pregnant, and their 16-year-old son, Arlanda Wellington, a student of Inswood High School in St. Catherine. All three were found with their feet and hands bound, they were each shot in the head and throat slashed this is such a gruesome way to die however the niece of 35 year old mistress wellington through fighting emotions and tears explained how badly her aunt was looking forward to having her baby and just can't come to reality that her aunt just gone so as she had done so much preparation for her baby to be born as she had tried for so long to get pregnant and this baby would have been her second child as her son was 16 year old in august the niece while sad looking depressed and distraught while taking phone calls from friends and family who just found out about the triple murder she continues this is not something anyone could foresee happening tell a baby girl there's no one would want to foresee this for their lives as the Wellington family is considered a Christian family in the community and that the family worshipped at a Church of God church, same place in the community. She further stated her little cousin Arlanda was a student of Inswood High School in St. Catherine and was very eager to go back to school as he was going into fifth form now. As he had just had his birthday, this, his 16th birthday in August. Senior Superintendent of Police Stephanie Lindsay, Head of Corporate Communication Unit at the JCF, said the house the Wellingtons live in was ransacked by the killers. Maybe a ploy or they was looking for something. However, the police believe that a Dan who is closely connected to the family could assist with the investigators probing the matter. However, the police believe there will be reprisals so the police is keeping a close watch on the community. However, sources claim that the triple murder could have stemmed from the fact that a well-known gang in Spanish Town was on the hunt for a close family member and may have been frustrated for not being able to find that individual. So the gangster decided to brutally execute the closest family member to that individual and their unborn child. Another resident said the family was a jovial set that never troubled others as they don't argue with people and they don't get into any fuss or fight. So the whole murder is puzzling. Another neighbor said he is not easily moved to tears but when he woke up the morning and heard the gruesomeness of the crime he broke down and cried especially for the little 16 year old boy Orlando that little boy is so well mannered he does not pass anyone without greeting them his father mr wellington used to work at the golf course but an auto parts company took him away from the golf course and gave him a job he further stated he knew them for more than 15 years and they attended the church down the road people's national party councillor of the lariston division keisha lewis said residents are in fear because of the series of violent crimes in the area recently and is asking the police to patrol more 
and to even set up a post in the area to ensure some sense of safety in the community and the key, key the Keisha is also calling for stiff penalties for murder of pregnant women as legislation changes its needs as its relation to the rights of an unborn child as killers need to be charged separately for the end of the unborn fetus as a life is a life as her argument is life begins at the point of conception and as such a fetus represents a life as she explained in some jurisdiction killing a pregnant woman carry a, carrying a viable fetus is deemed double homicide however soon after one of the suspects in the gruesome murder was taken out by police a day later as it was a person of interest on the case Gaza man he was shot and killed by police SSP Stephanie Lindsay said police acting on intelligence carried out an operation intelligence led and accosted him in a house in the wee hours of the morning he opened fire on the police and the fire was returned and he was shot and killed the deceased man brother and two other men who were also in the house was taken into custody they seized two illegal firearms the police are continuing their investigation into the murders and are asking the other persons of interest to contact the police asap before they contact them such a beautiful island seemingly heading to be the next haiti as gangs are trying to take over life in jamaica as we know it stay safe guys and be aware of your surroundings anyway guys please remember to like comment and subscribe to my platform please love you all bye for now